Hi everybody, that's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. Before you begin, shuffle the cards and place them face down in the center of the table. I am nailing this. I am nailing the directions. If playing with four or more players, divide players into teams with a maximum of four teams. The youngest player takes a card from the top of the pile. Ask that's the player. You. That's me. Uh, they're left with like a question related to the 80s, 90s, 2000s, or 10s. Wow. Then read the corresponding question. This player or team has one minute to answer the question. The first answer should be taken as their final answer. Okay. So And speak it's by paladone.com. Paladone. Yeah. We've lived through all of these decades. Yes, so we have. this will be The above game should continue till one player answers five questions correctly. Okay. There it is. Boom. Okay. Shuffled in the center of the table, <laughs> crushing these directions. Yes. I mean it's it's a pretty easy game to yeah. follow. It's yeah. not difficult at all. Hi little ghosties. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Today, uh, we're going to play a game that I came across at Five Below. Listen, if y'all don't know about Five Below, oh. it's great. It's I a classy five. dollar store. Yeah, I should not be allowed into a Five Below when I have money in my bank account it's because a, it's yeah. problematic. I haven't been to one in a long time, mm. but I've definitely experienced the joy. It's a great place to get yes. like stocking stuffers right. or like... A gift for your friend's daughter that you don't know super well, uh -huh. but like you got invited to her birthday party. Yeah, I like it for like little tech gifts and stuff like that. Like uh, you get like like pop sockets for your phone yeah. or you can get... um. Like I said, it's a great yeah, for stocking Yeah, just little stuffers. stocking stuffers, little knickknacks. Or little, yeah, little like yeah. gift bag things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yeah. um, these lights that are back here I got from Five Below. Um, yeah. Five Below. <laughs> Sponsor us. What are y'all what are doing? <laughs> Yeah. We're giving you some shout outs yeah. here on the pod. Um, they do. They they have tons of You can cool pay us stuff. in gift cards. <laughs> we'll take throw we'll take pillows, little stuffed animals yeah. and stuff. Yeah, Five they got below, all tons man. of stuff. That's great. I love it. So anyway, uh, I was going through their game section and I and <clears throat> this was one of the games I picked up a few games which you're gonna see on the podcast, uh, here on the podcast also at some point. Um see and hear see and, and hear. experience. But this is one of the ones that I picked up. It's called Battle of the Decades, 80s, 90s, O's, and Tens. Or the Do you call them the O's? Oh, I was gonna aughts. say you call them the, okay. The aughts. The aughts, like, I feel like. 2000 is... ought to. <laughs> Hold on, pause. Opening the LaCroix. There we go. The LaCroix. Didn't have my bubbly water open before we started recording. So. Nope. Uh, all right. Uh, so a reminder before we get into this game that uh, you can listen to us on your favorite podcast providers, so whether it be Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher. We're on Stitcher, Stitcher, yeah, or whatever Pocket your favorite, Cast, yeah, whatever or your favorite even podcast on YouTube. is. You can watch it on YouTube. Yep, and now you can watch it on YouTube. We're doing yeah. video podcasts on Spotify and YouTube, so That's catch right. us there. Uh, tell your friends, share the links, do all the good stuff. Uh, so this is the way this game works. It's if you want to the see decades. the money makers, yeah. not just hear <laughs> the money I know, makers. I know Allie and I have wonderful voices for a podcast, <laughs> but Allie is very beautiful and I'm not unattractive. So <laughs> Accurate assessment, everyone. <laughs> These are accurate assessments. <laughs> so I feel that one would benefit from watching the yeah. YouTube and Spotify versions of this. Um, so the way Battle of the Decades is played is the youngest player will go first. Uh, I'll pull out a card and then Allie has a choice. She can pick a question from the 80s, 90s, aughts, or the 10s. Oh, I don't have to get all of them? No. Oh, no, great. No. And can, then first person to five wins, Yeah, first right? person who wins five cards okay. wins. Now, as Ali pointed out before we started recording, we have both lived through all of these decades. We're not going to tell you our ages, but <laughs> we just told you our ages. Yeah, we lived through most yeah. of the 80s, the 90s, the aughts, and the 10s. So right. uh, if we don't... Sure cry, like, we are the demographic for this game. Yeah. And it's by Paladone. Yes. Paladone.com is where you uh, you get this game, but Five Below is the one that carries it. Much yeah. easier to go there. I love a trivia game. Yeah. Oh, I love trivia games. Do we want to put a rule that we have to get at least one from every decade? Ooh. Okay. All right. 
Yeah, let's do that. There's only four decades, so yeah. Right, we'll have so to we have twice. to get one from each decade plus At least, an plus additional. one additional one. Okay. Okay, I, okay. I like that. I like let's that. Let's make up our house own rules. rules. House yeah, rules. Yeah, house All rules. Right. This is what we do. We make yeah. up our own rules and play for a while. Let's do 80s. Allie wants to start with the 80s. Yes. Who won the Wimbledon Ladies Single Championship six times in the 1980s? Martina Navratilova. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Martina Navratilova. She's... I feel like she is one points. of the singular <laughs> figures in my childhood that I fully remember. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm so glad you I got remember. that. I remember she. I feel like she was everywhere when I was a kid because she was so bad ass at tennis. Can yeah. we say ass on this podcast? In the in the usage of badass, yes. Okay, great. She <laughs> was super badass, and I remember just looking at her and being like, "Wow." She plays tennis, like, <laughs> and she was also just a female professional athlete, which wasn't something I had seen when I was a right. kid. Right, and she was everywhere. Yeah, Martina Navratilova. Wow, that's all. I never would have gotten that. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I am also going to go for the eighties. The United States boycotted the 1980 Summer Olympics held in which city? Uh, ooh, in which city? Mm-hmm. Where were the 1980 Olympics? 1980s. I want to say it was somewhere in Germany. No, that no. was in the 30s. Okay. No, no. In Germany, they didn't they have the Berlin Wall and stuff? Didn't they have... Wasn't Germany split in half at one point? Yeah. Okay. That was way back in the 30s? No, they had a, they had the Berlin Olympics, but oh, the okay. United gotcha. States, I believe, boycotted that Olympics as well. <laughs> we don't do research. Yes, feel free to check do. the facts. This is why the trivia. But game be is nice so about it. <laughs> be n- you don't have to be mean about it. You right. can just be nice about it. Yes. All right. What was it? Uh, Moscow. Moscow. It was either Germany or Russia. Yeah. It was 80s, one of the two. Deep in the Cold War. Yeah. 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 I guess so. Yeah. All right, Allie, go ahead and pick your next decade. Um, let's do the. 2010s. Allie wants to do the 2010s. Yeah. Which artist released the albums Red, 2012, oh. 1989, 2014. Oh, Taylor Swift. Uh, Taylor Swift. Yes, yes. I didn't even have to read the whole question. I am not a Taylor <laughs> Swift fan. Not that I'm not. I'm just not. <laughs> You're not like a diehard I'm not Taylor not Swift a fan, fan, but like right. if her songs come on, it's fine. I don't have a Taylor Swift album. Sure. Okay. But um, it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay um how did you know that then i don't know i can't explain <laughs> how i know it i just know it it was not like a slumdog millionaire it's not situation. a slumdog millionaire situation <laughs> actually there so one reason i know is because uh an artist that i i listened to redid taylor swift's album mm-hmm and called it the exact same thing and just redid the whole album, but okay. like in his own style. And I thought that that was just like such a fun thing. Yeah. And so that's how I knew 1989 was an album. Okay. And also the red album cover is like in my brain at some point. Mm. Anyway. All right. So you are crushing this game. I am, I am crushing this game. sucking at it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Pick a decade, Dash. Uh, let's go with 90s. 90s. Yeah. Who is the president of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia? <laughs> I mean, I really? mean, Dash, who is the president <laughs> of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia from 1997 uh, to 2000? Uh, 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 check, check off? <laughs> no. I don't know. Slobodan Milosevic. Oh, come on. <laughs> no fair. Oh, man. Uh, I, to be fair, I wouldn't have known it. I know the name, but yeah, I would not have known that. You would not have known that that was the person? All right. What? what? <laughs> Republic of Yugoslavia. Uh, I knew you were doomed. I knew it. The Republic of Yugoslavia. I knew it. Man, the, <laughs> Fully the world was very political in the 80s. Here's the problem, though, is that we were we babies in the 80s. That was in the, the 90s. 90s. We were still, I, the 90s. come on. I was at most 11 or 12 throughout the entire 90s. So... 97 to 2000, Dash. All right, here we go. Go ahead. What year? Um, what decade? 90s. I do 90s. Yeah. Which actress starred in The Pelican Brief, Something to Talk About, and Notting Hill? Julia Roberts. Yes. Ask me a question that's difficult. My I mean, God. it's not my choice. It's whatever's on the cards. <laughs> go. Go ahead. 
Ellie is up three nil. Yeah. Three nil on this card, on this game. Which decade uh, do you want? Oh Josh? man, I get let's do two thousands. Okay. I think you'll get this one. Okay. Who directed the two thousand six movie Pan's Labyrinth? Guillermo del Toro. He sure did. Yay! He sure did. The comeback kid. All right. Here we go. What a- that's a wild movie. That's a wild movie, but it's so good. Guillermo del Toro is just an amazing director. He's very good at directing. Yeah. yeah. He's in that crew of like Mexican directors. They all sort of came up at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, him, Almodovar, and uh, my favorite, whose name I don't remember right now. The one who did Gravity. Um, he, the one who did Gravity, whose name is escaping me. His son just He also did, did the... the <laughs> Third Harry Potter movie. His son just did a movie for Netflix called yeah. Chupa. And now I just, yes, yes. And I haven't seen it. It's okay. Anyway. <laughs> it's a it's a very kids movie. Yeah. That's like fine. it's very Nickelodeon kids movie. But I mean, you know, I mean people get in, with get kids out there. gotta yeah, stick kids in gotta front watch of the movies. TV and take a break. So yeah. all right, what decade? Um, which one haven't I gotten? The aughts? Uh, you haven't done, you did the... You I did the aughts. I haven't done the aughts. Let's you do You haven't the done aughts. the aughts. In what year did Barack Obama become president of the United States for the first time? For the first time? Uh, 2000... Hold on. I'm trying to do <laughs> math. Trying to do math in your head? What year did he become president? 2008. No. 2009. 2000- Oh, the election he was, was elected in 2008. in 2008. Yes, but the actual correct. He actually he got sworn in in 2009. In 2000. Yeah, yeah. That's always so tricky because mm-hmm. I always think it's an even number, right? Because election it's every years four. are even numbers, yeah. but they actually get inaugurated on the odd on numbers. the odd number. Yeah, exactly. Dang. Yeah, it's always. I knew so the answer, weird. but I didn't. I, w- I wonder. I've never really looked it up. I've always wondered why it's on January 21st. That they do the inauguration. There's gotta be some reason. I guess because it's like it's just so random. Like 21 days into the new year. Remember that dude back in the day who like gave the longest inauguration speech and he got pneumonia and died. Yeah. <laughs> maybe don't do it in January, guys. Like maybe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> one, maybe don't give a super long speech. Yeah. Because no one really cares. Or do it Especially in Florida. Especially before there was like TV and everything. No, mm-hmm. no one cares, dude. Right. There's no record of this. No one gives a crap. <laughs> Second, the history books are just going to say gave a super long speech and then died of <laughs> And pneumonia. then died of pneumonia. Um, and also, it's cold <laughs> outside in January in Washington, D.C. Well, that was the shortest presidential term ever, I think. Right? It was something like 45 days. It was like or, yeah, 30 it was days, something Super like short. That. Yeah. yeah. Wild. hmm hmm Yeah. All right. Which one did I get here? I got the... I got the 2000s, so let's yeah. do a 90s one now. Let's do a 90s Come one. Come on, question about the Chicago Bulls. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> question about the 90s Chicago Bulls. You'll get this one. You're going to get all the movie questions you're going to get right. Yes. This yeah, is another movie right. question. Because this is all I did. It's Which Steven movies. Spielberg film won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1993? 93, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> was Schindler's List. Yep. Yay. Can I tell you a secret? Yes. I've never seen Schindler's List. You've never seen List. Schindler's List? Not one time. It's a heavy watch. Yeah. It is a heavy it. Heavy watch. It's not like grab your popcorn and soda and watch a Steven Spielberg movie. It's right. it's a heavy watch. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. I think that's one of the reasons that I haven't watched it. Yeah. Like yeah. you have to be in the mood. Like there are several movies in my Netflix Are you Netflix ever queue right in now. the mood to just like be devastated for two and a half hours? You know no. what I mean? Like, no. But I think everyone needs to experience it at least once. I know. That's the thing. <clears throat> like I watched like, it in school. Right. I don't know right. how I didn't watch it in school or. Right. I, yeah. I just, I never, I've never watched that movie. Yeah. And I know it like won a bunch of awards. I know the basic premise of it. Yeah. I know it's a very good Liam movie. Liam Neeson was in it. Yeah. I know Liam Neeson is in it. Yeah. I know Red. <laughs> that girl with the Not red the coat. Taylor Swift album. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it. Oh. All right, Allie. Um, what are we still the, doing? The aughts, aughts, right? Yeah. Let's do an aughts. What was the name of the string of benefit concerts that took place around the world oh. between the 2nd and 6th, July 2005? Were they Live Aid? Yes. Yeah. 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 Live, live Aid. Aid. Yeah. There you go. Good job. All right. I only need one more to win, You only everybody. need one more. And I think, are you in the double, like, you're into your double already? 
Like you can pick mm -hmm. any category. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I got one of each. Yeah, and now you can pick your category. And now I can pick whatever I want. Uh, What's your category, Okay, Dash? I have done the 90s and the aughts. So let's do a 10s. Which city hosted the 2016 Summer Olympics? Oh, no. That was like right there. Yeah. The 2016 Summer Olympics. Okay, 2020, which was actually done in 21, was Japan. And those were Winter Olympics. Were they? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. 2020, I want to say. Wait. No. 20... 2020 would have been summer. Right. Because it's every four. Uh-huh. Yeah. So 20... Yeah. And then they did it in 2021 because of yeah. the pandemic. So... Uh, I the most say... recent Olympics was a winter. That's right. Right. The most recent. Mm -hmm. And then one of them was in China. Mm -hmm. China. Um... London. No. England. Was it England? It no. was in England? No. No? Was that the Winter Olympics? That they did no, they did a uh, summer in London, but I think it was 2012. Yeah, I think it was 2012 I, in London. I only remember because Daniel Craig did that 20, whole thing at the yes. beginning. Yeah. 2016 was Rio. <sighs> Rio. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, that was the best thing ever is Daniel Craig skydiving out of an airplane with Queen Elizabeth. And then they landed in I Queen Elizabeth Skybox. Day, yeah. It was so funny. All right, Allie, go ahead and pick your category for the win. Ooh, let's um, let's do the nineties. Nineties. Feel good about it. The famous oh, WhatsApp okay. TV advert was for what product? Oh no! Oh, I would have gotten this one. Oh WhatsApp. no! It was everywhere. It was everywhere. It was. Yep. It was either Bud Light or Doritos. And I think it was Bud Light. Ooh, so It was close. Doritos. It was Budweiser Bud beer. Yeah. No, Bud Light and Budweiser are two different beers. It's Bud. Nuh-uh. No, Bud Light and Budweiser are two different beers. They're both by Budweiser. They're both by Budweiser, no. but one is Bud Light. I got it right. Everyone's going to tell you that. I got it Nuh -uh. right. Nuh-uh. Yeah, I no. did. No. It's Bud. <sighs> Fine, I'll answer another one. All I'm right. crushing you anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me a tens. What is the name of the 2014 investigative journalism podcast hosted? Oh, you're going to get this one. Hosted by Sarah Koenig that focuses on the trial of Adnan Syed. This American Life. No. Ha <laughs> you didn't what? get no, it. No, it is. This oh, no, no she started not. with This American it's Life. It's cereal. Oh. Wow, bro. Wow. <laughs> wow, bro. That's Wow. Great. They started with This American Life and then they spun off to Serial where they did the Anansa Yad trial. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. What is the latest on Anansa Yad? I just heard a whole podcast about it. He got out. Uh-huh. But now the argument is that Heyman Lee's brother was not given proper notice. So mm -hmm. his victim's rights were violated. Oh, no. So they... It was a lot of complicated legal stuff. Sure. So basically they had to vacate whatever it was because of the victim's rights situation. Mm -hmm. So I think he's like back in the, Oh, I don't no. think he's back in, in prison, but I think he's still not like off the hook yet. Okay. I yeah. see. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. All right. Which well, uh, yeah. I mean, Heyman Lee's family deserves to yeah. have their justice, rights as well. And they yeah. deserve to have their rights. And until he is he's unequivocally, either unequivocally proven, guilty. proven guilty or, well, he has been proven guilty until he's unequivocally proven innocent and someone else is found guilty. There's never going to be right justice. Mm -hmm. So, well, but he got let out. Why? Because he got let out. Because wasn't there like not enough, really not enough evidence? No, I think the argument was that there was certain evidence. <laughs> Hold on, we're trying to remember a podcast story that is so much better for our listeners to just go listen to the yeah, actual just podcast. Yeah, go listen to the actual. <laughs> but this is even beyond serial, right? Okay, this is past serial. So I just I just listened to a whole episode about it from a different podcast, but mm -hmm. it was called something Docket, I think the Docket, whatever. Mm -hmm. Basically, like he his sentence was vacated because the argument was that. Um, there was certain evidence that could have been what's called exculpatory. Mm -hmm. 
and it was not presented at the trial. Okay. And you legally have to present that, right? Gotcha. Because at a at a criminal trial, the the burden of proof is reasonable doubt. Right. So if you're if the other side is saying, well, no, you can't bring that in because it's going to cause reasonable doubt. Right. It's like, well, yeah, that's, well, yeah, that's the point. The point, yeah. right? Like that's the bar that you have to reach mm-hmm. is this person is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Right. So that was the issue is they had this exculpatory evidence that they weren't allowed to bring in. And so because of that, he was, they were able to vacate the sentence. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not a doc. I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. (laughs) I'm not a doctor either, but I'm definitely not a lawyer. Definitely not a doctor. (laughs) And many, many people smarter than me can explain it to you. Um, but that was what I gathered from all of the podcasts that I've listened to about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want justice for Lee. And if a nod to it is innocent, I want him to be free finally. Um, so I, I just hope, I just hope the best comes out of this terrible, terrible situation i mean yeah i hope that always yeah go ahead and pick your yeah, your decade uh, for the win wow let's maybe i should just do the 2010s because they're the closest in they're, my mind they're freshest they're freshest uh what record did 43 year old australian man felix baumgartner oh, I don't know break in 2012 oh i remember this Felix Baumgartner broke a yeah, record in 2012, like a Guinness World Record. Mm-hmm. Is it a Guinness World Record? It's just a world record. But I mean, get, so the Guinness is just the re, Guinness is just the record keepers of the world records. That's all they are. It's not a Guinness World. It is the world record. Guinness just combines all of it in a book. Right, but I'm just trying to narrow down, like, is it a weird thing, like, longest fingernails, or is it, like, a sports thing? Like, he Not a sports fast. thing, not a sports thing. That's what I'm trying to determine. Gotcha. Oh, geez, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. No idea? No idea. Uh, the highest ever skydive at 128,097 oh feet, and the highest manned balloon flight. I don't know if you remember this, like... No. Yeah, he. It was like there was Red Bull logos everywhere, wow. but he took a manned balloon up How as high as it would go. How long is the free fall for that? It took forever. It. It was like yeah. Because I've I've been skydiving and I think I was at fourteen hundred, mm-hmm. and the free fall is like thirty seconds. Wow. Like you get you get a good amount of free fall. Right. So I can't imagine, dude must have been free free falling <laughs> for a solid two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, he was just rocketing was toward if, the earth. If I'm not mistaken, you he passed out for a certain portion. Right, of that. yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. My God, because he had to, you have to free fall for a certain amount of time before you open your chute. Right. Yeah. And there was a guy <laughs> so you're just there, just like ah, there was a dude not that long whatever. ago who um who did the highest ever free fall Oof. with no parachute. And he just, he jumped out of a hot air balloon and straight down and somebody was with him almost the entire time. And once they saw that he was on target and ready to go, the parachuter broke off, spun open, and then he went through like six or seven nets that caught him and slowed his descent all the way down to the ground. That is an absolute nightmare. Isn't it terrifying? Yeah, definitely look it up. Highest free fall without a parachute. It is Somebody's a crazy brain, video. People's brains are different from mine. <laughs> that is a brain that is not the same brain as mine. Yeah. <laughs> because I would never even consider that to be a possibility in the realm of things <laughs> that exist as possibilities. Right. Well, some people want to make their mark. I mean, look at, uh, we had a world record yeah, breaker here in our show. Yeah, their mark like a Looney Tunes cartoon <laughs> in the side of a mountain where it's just your, your body shape in... <laughs> Uh, like a body shaped hole. <laughs> Yikes. All right, go ahead. Give me tens. Yikes. What a nightmare. In 2010, a volcano in which nation mm-hmm. erupted, causing enormous disruption to air travel across Europe? Uh, uh, Greenland. No. Iceland? Yeah. Damn it. It was one of the lands. Yeah. <laughs> I barely remember that, yeah. but I do remember it. Okay, let's uh. do. 
Um, we may be here forever. I know. Let's do. <laughs> are they all hard? Uh, let's do. Let's do two thousands. Okay, two thousands. Which song released in two thousand four? Okay. Featured the lyrics. Can you practice what you preach, or would you turn the other cheek? Oh no! Can you practice? Father, father, father help us to look at us. <laughs> Where is the love? Where is the love? Bye. I think it's like Black Eyed Peas. Or it something. is the Black Eyed Peas. Where is the love of the Black Eyed Peas? And I knew with it. That, yes. Allie wins did, did, five I was, as to As soon two. as you said music, I was like, I got this. Whatever the question <laughs> is, I got it. Now, one thing I have noticed is that all of the categories tend to be in, all of the questions tend to be in the same category. Right? Like in this one, the card I got. So it's 80s, 90s, 100s. I'm sorry. 80s, 90s, aughts, and 10s. But it was like Emilio Estevez and Molly Ringwald starred in which 1985 movie? The 1993 movie Jurassic Park is set on which fictional island? Who directed on the 2006 oh, Pan's They're all the same category. There's what? There's a Tracy Chapman question in here. Oh, yeah? I should have asked for the 80s one on the last part. Well, I mean, you still got it. Yeah, so that was... No, no, no. I think they're just all the same. This is like all music questions. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, each, each card is the same oh, category. Oh, I see. So, like, I some see, of them I are see, all I movies. See. Some of them are all music. Some of them are all political. Yeah. Does that this make sense? This is a Tracy Chapman question. I'm sad I didn't pick the wow. 80s. I mean, I still got it right, but... Yeah. So, that was uh, Battle of the Decades by Paladone Games. And you can pick this up at your nearest five below yeah should we rate it yeah let's rate it okay uh so the box there's not a box there's there was a box there's no box it's just a cardboard deck box okay so the box is <laughs> on a, uh, it's it's a deck of cards <laughs> yeah the box yeah. does not exist yeah. it is it is that scene in mean girls <laughs> at the end at the math competition yeah uh where the limit does not exist right that's the box mm -hmm. okay and the cards Cards are nice. Cards are matte. They're, they're nice. Yeah, they're regular playing card size, but they're matte coated. So the they're not. The font on them is really evocative of <laughs> the decade, right? The yeah. like 80s, 90s, uh -huh, aughts, yeah. and 10s. It, like it's very evocative of the right. decade, which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. They're Man, normal the, size cards. The 10s are so lame. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just minimalist. Yeah. Like, we lost all of our character in the last 30 years. Have you noticed it's, that? Honestly, it's like, fine. We all just got tired. I guess. That's what happened. Yeah, like, we buildings just, became plain. and We just got tired. <laughs> we were like, this life thing is harder than we thought. So let's just make buildings let's square. Just, let's just turn it down a notch. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to give these... Uh, like, a business card that your company gives you, like, a full box... Mm -hmm. Of business cards that have like a little bit of a nice gloss to the paint okay. on the business cards. Yeah. That's what I'm going to give these cards. Fair. Okay. Uh, playability. Very easy to play. Yeah. This Pick is up, table go. tennis level. Five cards. Yeah. Table yeah. tennis level. Although the, some of the trivia questions were hard. Yes. So maybe it's like a step above table tennis. Uh, yeah. So it's like, it's like, so the rules wise, it's as easy as table tennis, but the difficulty is like you playing against somebody who plays every lunch hour. Yeah. So right. it's like tetherball in fifth grade level. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and fun factor. I, I had a good time. I, yeah, I had fun. I had a good, I had time. A good time. And yeah. and it took us down memory lane a few times. So that was nice. Yeah. That's the what I like about it, I think, is that it's it's mm -hmm. got the nostalgia factor, but right. also I love trivia and also I like winning. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I think we'll close it out. So that was Battle of the Decades. That's Allie. That's Dash. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos. Access our episode library. Find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy. And contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And finally... If life's a circus, we're, we're the, the clowns. clowns. Yeah, Julie Bowens. Hot. She's fine. I mean, she's a tiny blonde thing, mm -hmm. which yeah. is...
I'm okay with that. Fine. <laughs> it's, I, it's just boring to me. I like someone yeah? who looks, you know, different. Okay. Well, yeah, because you're from the Midwest, so. Yeah. I mean, listen, Henry Cavill is Henry Cavill, right? He's like textbook, storybook prince, handsome. Sure. But I do like someone who's a little odd looking. Mm-hmm. Like I like an interesting looking face. I'm oh, not yeah. I'm not really like a Disney Prince kind of gal. Sure. I yeah. get that. 